talked about it yesterday. Um, you know, playing a simple game and being hard on their, de uh, their defense and, and using our speed to our advantage. I, I think as uh, the game went on, we wore them down. And uh, it's, it's a long series, and we just got to shift by shift just do that every single, uh, every single night. Frank, like you're a little we've bit talked about I'm sorry, the offensive zone. You, you were farting 40 shots or so, and you just really wanted to get some pucks on, this, on their goalie. Yeah, I think that's the goal uh, all along. And no matter who's in net or what team we're playing against, is we want to produce, uh, you know, from uh, make plays from behind the goal line and uh, not force it. But that's what we work on, and um, I think we did a good job of that tonight of uh, creating second chances also. Frank, the, the you've you've talked before how since the time that you've been here, you've noticed the resiliency of the group. Doing it in the playoffs, though, like what do you think that does for the locker room to, to, to prove that you can not only do it in the regular season, but you could do it on stage like this? Yeah, it's it's big. Um, you know, playoff hockey is a different animal, and everyone's got to step up their game. You know, a few percent. Um, you know, obviously the first ten minutes of every game is very high intense, and there's there's gonna be momentum swings no matter who you're playing against, and throughout the whole entire uh, series. So you got to learn how to weather those, and when you get the momentum shifts, you make sure you're bearing down your chances. And I think that's what we did tonight. How crucial was Igor in the first couple minutes of the third period? Uh, I can't say enough about him. He's been great uh, the entire year. And uh, to have the confidence in that goaltender and knowing if there's a breakdown that he's going to be there to, uh, to bail you out. Frank, you guys had, uh, I think it was nine guys with at least a point tonight and 14 with at least one shot on goal. One of those was Igor. At least he was credited with one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that he actually had one, but he was credited with one. Um, what does that tell you about what kind of game that you guys had as a team? Yeah, uh, we talk about it. Everyone needs to be going every single night. It's the playoffs. Uh, if you're on the first line, the fourth line, whatever line you're on or whatever deep pairing you're on, no matter how many minutes you're playing, we need we need big minutes that are, you know, whatever minutes that you're playing, we need the most that you can get out of every single guy. And um, that's important. Uh, we have the depth on this team to score goals and uh, to shut it down defensively. So it's, it's great to see uh, everyone getting involved. Frank, what did it mean to you personally to contribute the way you did tonight? It was great. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Cried gets a good stick on the other one, and Brett makes a great play off the wall, and uh, my shot just ended up going in the net. But, you know, um, it just feels a lot better uh, contributing to the win. And, uh, you know, we got a few more wins to go, and uh, we just focus on the next game now. George didn't seem too happy with how you guys played in, in the defensive zone. It worked. Do you see room for improvement there? I think there's always room for improvement. You can't be too complacent with how your game went, and I think you take the positives out of games. and. Um, there's there's going to be some not negative. I want to say negatives, but things you kind of have to work on. And I think we should just bear down a little bit more in our D zone and, and look at the film and see what we need to do to close down some scoring chances. What kind of lift did you get from the crowd tonight? The crowd's been great. Uh, regular season since I've been here and uh, the playoffs, they bring it to a whole another level, and it, it definitely gives us that boost out there. Uh, I think the best fans in the league. It's great. <laughs> Igor, you feel okay after the collision at the end? Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I, I feel great. I just fell pretty poorly, landed poorly. How did you feel about the way the team responded tonight after the tough loss in game one? Показали себя с достойной стороны. Хороший первый шаг для нас, в принципе. Будем продолжать наращивать оборот. Uh, definitely a good showing today. It was a good first step in the right direction, and we'll we'll keep uh, raising, uh, accelerating from here. Artemi, how did you feel about your personal game in game one and how you did tonight? Я, конечно, люблю разговаривать о себе, но в плей-офф давайте будем о команде говорить. I, of course, do love talking about myself, but let's keep the conversation about the team. Can you talk about your goal, Artemi, and just your mindset and your thinking on your goal? Не, я на самом деле видел, по-моему, трубу открывался, там защитник набегал, и я ему отдавал и попал в конёк. Yeah, I was actually uh, looking more at Truba and I was trying to give a pass to him, but I accidentally hit hit the skate of the opposing player and went in. So. Igor, you had a long night the other night. You felt fresh and good uh, tonight? да, прекрасно себя чувствую. На тренировках, в принципе, всегда столько бросает, поэтому ничего нового. Yeah, I mean, I feel great. Um, they make about as much shots during practice on me, so I, I was, I'm pretty used to it. 